Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how, you how to download and install uh, Ubuntu 15.04 which is the latest operating system from Ubuntu. So uh, to start off we're going to open up a browser on a working machine and go to ubuntu.com and uh, when we're on ubuntu.com we are going to head over to download. On download we're going to be going to desktop as we're going to be installing the desktop um, client today and when you're on this page it may update by the time you're viewing this video. Um, but we're going to be looking for 15.04 which is the latest version and you need to choose whether you want to install 64-bit or 32-bit um, it says for machines recommended uh, with less than 2 gig RAM um, but it's really based on what your CPU supports um, any PC in sort of the last 6 or 7 years is probably going to be supporting 64-bit so this is the one we're going to go ahead and download um, I've already got this downloaded um, you need to burn this to a CD or onto a USB stick and then um, you can pop it in your machine and boot to that to begin the installation. So I'm just going to show you this now on um, a virtual machine which I have running here. So I am booting to the ISO and I'm just going to speed this up a second uh, whilst it loads. Okay, so um, it's booted to the disk and we're now at the welcome screen. Um, you can actually boot using the CD and use it as a live CD to try it out. Um, it won't make any changes to your computer. Uh, but today we're going to look at installing Ubuntu. So um, I want it in English. I'm going to go ahead and click Install Ubuntu. Um, also here it's going to show you um, it, it gets the latest updates direct from the internet. Um, so you want to make sure the computer you're uh, installing on how is supported uh, network card and you have Wi-Fi connection or a cable connection um, so that it can install this whilst um, whilst it's in installing the operating system. I'm not going to do that as it's going to make it take a lot longer to install um, but we can update them later on. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue on the screen. Um, and uh, this computer that I'm installing on at the moment doesn't actually have anything on the disk. It's a blank disk. But if you did have one, um, you would obviously have to erase over it. Uh, so you've got a couple of options here. Um, I'm not going to cover this in this video, but something else is for if you want to create the partitions yourself. Um, and this one it will encrypt um, the installation for you. Uh, for most home users, it's, i probably say it's not required. Um, and uh, this one here will allow for snapshotting, which most home users aren't going to require. So uh, for the best part, most people are going to use Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu. So I'm going to go ahead and click Install. And then it's going to tell you that it's going to make um, sort of permanent changes to your disk. Um, so make sure you do have anything backed up if you did have on those disks because they're going to be uh, pretty difficult to rescue after this. So I'm going to go ahead and press continue. So it's uh, I'm going to begin installing now and we need to select our location. Uh, luckily for me it is already on London but if you are based somewhere else, if you're based in the States, you can just click on the uh, the map where you are based and it will adjust the time zone for you. So after you've done that, go ahead and click continue. And next we're going to look at the keyboard layout. Um, you can just type in here um, random keys and it will detect what your keyboard layout is. But mine is actually the UK English one so that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. So now we need to um, give it some credentials on our name. So uh, the name is actually what we're going to be using to log in. Um, well the username is and uh, this will be our home profile name. So my name is Matt H. And my computer name, I'm going to call this Matt H Ubuntu. And my username is going to be called uh, Matt Admin. And then I just need to choose a password. Um, that match. It's not working very well. Just a second. And uh, then we need to choose whether we want to um, require a password to log in and whether we want the machine to log in automatically. Um, even if you are a home user, I'd still uh, advise you to require a password to log in. And again, you have the option to encrypt your user drive. Um, depending on how, whether you have sensitive information on this computer, um, you may or may not want to do this. Encrypting it will make it more difficult to recover. So I'm going to leave it as it is and go ahead and click continue. And now I'm going to speed this up whilst uh, Ubuntu installs. Okay, so now we're at the restart screen, the installation complete. So what we need to do is remove the media, so that's the CD or the USB key, from your, um, your laptop or computer that you're installing on, and then go ahead and click restart.
Okay, so your computer is now booted and you're at the login screen. So you're just going to go ahead and uh, type your login in, which you uh, had from before. And you could be presented with a new beautiful 15.04 Ubuntu desktop wallpaper, which is um, literally stunning. So there we go, we've installed the application. Um, I'm going to do a few more videos here on uh, what's new on 15.04. Um, you can, as you can see, the installing is very, very simple. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do uh, after you've installed Ubuntu is hook it up to the internet and uh, run the updates. So to run the updates, you just need to head into System here, or System Settings on the left here, and uh, the COG, and then you need to go into Software and Updates. Uh, once you're in here, you can choose your options, um, and we can um, also look at updates. And then we're going to need to force those through and get it updating now. I hope it's been useful for you. Um, if you like, uh, please subscribe, and there'll be more. And um, if you have any comments, please put them below. Thanks for watching.